so this is about plan so this plan is created by some other high level people like team leader or architects uh, so they develop the plan so as per that plan we we develop the project so portfolio view all plans uh, or if you want to create a plan okay so you also can create a plan so as a developer you don't need to uh, so you don't uh, there is you you can create your plan for your purpose so that is not related to uh, project specific okay so that is how we can work with plans next one is create so this create is a uh, using this create if you see here on create create new issue or bug or feature request or etc so testing people they want to create a issue they will use this create button to create a issue and they will assign for on particular <coughs> on particular person okay so that is how you will uh, they will create a defect so uh, actually i am not a uh, tester so i cannot create i cannot create an issue and i cannot assign it so let me try okay so this is issue type is uh okay task and uh, login page okay i am register i am creating task registration page implementation so say security level priority is major and due date is uh, tomorrow i have to complete and this and all not required i don't need and fix version assignee uh, jira server was contacted but has no has written as an error message we are ensure that results of this operation so here uh, it is not coming anything marasaya so nothing is coming here so you that user i am not able to assign him uh, to particular person so if somebody uh, somebody is assigned on my name then i will get it so as a developer i cannot get, uh, i cannot create the issue okay so that's why i am not able to creating okay so if if somebody created issues on my name then i can in the dashboard so in the dashboard i will see it so how many issues i uh, is there in my name i can check it and if you want to pick some issue you, yourself that also it is possible go to issues and current search and and the portal current uh, as a current user i don't have anything so this is issue cloud and if i want to take this this issue so here uh, i don't have permissions so there is some uh, uh, label will come so using that i can uh, take that issue so i can i can work on this issue so that is also possible uh, but uh, uh, for me as a new user i don't have any privileges like that okay and uh, it is depends on the company so you can pick yourself or your team leader will assign you uh, whatever the defects raised by uh, testing people so that defects your team leader will assign to uh, your on your name suppose Uh, in your team 10 people is there okay so some 100 defects raised by testing people and team leader will split that defects like uh, 100 defects for 10 people for each person 10 10 defects so for uh, what he will do is he will assign 10 defects on your name and for each for e on each name for uh, for each person he will assign 10 10 defects so that 10 defects it will come in uh, dashboard so that you can it will come on dashboard you will uh, try to uh, 
uh, once you fix it you can uh, reassign to testing people to test it so that is how the process will come so that is how process will be so suppose so there is a defect defect raised by testing and so this defects raised by testing and assign a team leader so this is assigned to team leader only because in a team uh, testing team they they will not interact with you with, with the developer so uh, even testing team they uh, they don't know the develop uh, the all developers in a team because uh, testing team is in china and uh, you are in india so you, as a developer you are developing the projects and the testing team they are testing the projects and uh, there are uh, team leader will always uh, uh, point of contact for uh, with testing team so they will raise the defect and uh, assign his team leader so what has team leader will do is there so he will assign the defect on developer name then okay so this this is how team leader uh, will do the uh, he will he will assign the uh, defect on developer name so developer per what he will do is he will check the defect list on his name and fix it and fix it he he will check the defects list on his name and he will fix it and and assign back back to tester to test it so that is what he will do okay so again tester will test that so here once he raised it once he tested it so it is in open state hmm. and it is in in he will do in progress state progress so status is open and status status is in progress and and progress is status is status is completed so once he completed this the uh, tester tester will uh, check it and what he will do is if 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 issue resolve resolve then he will change the status he will change the status close otherwise else status equal to reopen okay so this is how he, uh, he will do otherwise if we, if somebody is uh, already raised it status is duplicate so that is how 
the defect tracking we can do using Jira. So this type of functionalities, this type of information, this type of project management, we can you we can develop. We can develop with Jira. Okay. So not only Jira, we can same functionalities we can de we can develop using uh, ALM and IBM Rational Cle Clearcast. Same functionalities, same everything is same. So everything is same. We can uh, we can use for ALM and IBM Rational Clearcast. And there are many other uh, project management tools we have. So each company they have their own specific project management uh, tool. So they uh, that they will use for uh, such a project management related uh, uh, activities. Okay. So that's it about uh, <coughs> uh, Jira. Okay. So thanks for watching.